the TikToker was the second guy to go out of the Big Brother Niger season 6 house. I go by name Chewy Chew for Bella Niger and we shall be seeing me. Who's in your DMs, man? Man, I had a lot of DMs. I could not even keep it. Who's in your DMs? How you doing? I'm doing good, bro. Nice to have you, man. I'm the one having you. You're the one having me? Yeah, I'm the host. You're the host? Of course. Man, you're tall. So tell me, how do you how do you get to engage people so well the way you do? How do I get to engage people so yeah, well? Yeah. Well, I start by telling them my name. Okay, what's your name? My name is Chewy. My name is Chewy Chew. Yeah, Chewy Chew. Uh, how could I forget that? I really enjoy your interviews. You enjoy my interviews. But the ones you did on the streets were like awesome classes. Uh, yeah, I mean, but this one is even awesome. I'm, like, I'm getting to sit down with you. You can tell I'm a fan, you know. It's a blessing for me, though, to have someone like, like you as a fan. Oh, That's man. Chop knuckle. <laughs> how far now? I've been wondering, right? That's your sister? Who's that behind the camera joining us? <laughs> Is this a friend of yours? Oh, really? You do? Oh, that's a uh -huh. fan. Oh, wow. <laughs> this, nice. How that. you doing? <laughs> when you say my sister, my sister is actually here. That's what oh, your sister like. is here? Yeah, yeah, she okay, is. Okay, okay, cool, yeah. cool. So, uh, man, congratulations on getting into Big Brother's house. Thank you very much. Congratulations on getting out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I mean, it was a short stay, but um, mm. how was it for you? It was a blessing for me, irrespective of what time I got out. Okay. Though I wasn't expecting to get out that quick. Okay. But the fact that I made it to the house was a blessing for me. Yeah, because like thousands of people are trying to get in and I mean, you got picked. Why do you think they picked you? Yeah, so um, from the get go, I had my, you know, the fact that I'm a fine, handsome man, fashion killer. <laughs> wait, wait, uh, wait. I, I mean, like. <laughs> I feel threatened by that statement. No, you, you don't have to feel threatened. So I'm, we can I mean, we can be like fashion killers we together. We can right? share it. You have your style, I have my style. No, no, you know the sky is enough for everyone to shine, man. I like that. But you know, it was the fact that I had a strategy because um, from my get go, I, I laid out my strategy that you know this was what I was going to be in the house. So I think um, yeah, I had a major role to play. And um, though, yeah, that's changed when I got into the house. Repeat that strategy. What was that strategy you had in so, mind? So, yeah, you point? know, when me and my wife were like, oh, big brother, you know, the thing actually started with my sister. Mm. When the show started for Lacon, I just got a message from her on WhatsApp, like, me, why you know, try big brother? I was like, this one don't start again. <laughs> Another person told me, why didn't you try Big Brother? Another person told me again, why didn't you try Big Brother? I was already on TikTok then and uh. I was doing well on TikTok. So I think that it came from that place of why didn't you try this? And I was like, oh, okay, they see something I don't see. So then when I sat with my wife and I said, listen, if I'm going to Big Brother, I am going to be a gamer. And my, um, because I come from the gaming world. Mm. So I almost think of everything as a game and as Big a Brother game. is a game. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in the house and tell the housemates, just the housemates, that I'm a single guy and let that play, you know, go around me of, you know, girls flirting and all, playing hard to get. Yeah, you're feeling yourself. Guy. I am feeling myself. Okay, okay. I am feeling myself, okay. yeah. So, <laughs> what, what happened? What happened was, yeah. I wasn't expecting that, you know, the first date would be all oh, guys. Never expected it. I didn't expect it. And that's Big Brother for you. You <laughs> never know what's going to happen. You know, from the get-go of my auditions till I left the house. Mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, you cannot really predict. So before being a professional TikToker, what else were you doing? Um, yeah, so I was working mm. and um, I was managing businesses. I was managing my wife's um, business and mm. I was also managing my business. Okay. Um, Obi wise, it's just I'm always this introvert, chill by myself, enjoy my gaming online and stuff. Yeah. But you you grew up in Nigeria? Yes, I did. Were you one of those guys that used to go to game center? Uh, I go game center, die. <laughs> <laughs> I went to game center as uh, a teenager. It's the press pad. I chop a lot of beating for that. <laughs> what What's the worst beating you ever got in uh, FIFA? The, the worst beating. The beating that changed your life. Ah. 
Okay, I'll tell you two scenarios. I'll tell you real life beating, like beating, beating, beating okay. smacking, and I'll tell you beating. So yeah, um, as a gamer, I started really slow. Okay. But where I did learn how to play games, mm -hmm. you could not really play a free game. You had to bet something to, in order for you to hold the pawn. So I had guys giving me this ahead. If you know what ahead is, shout out to you. They gave me like two ahead, <laughs> four ahead and stuff, doing the whole Ultra 64 and stuff. So I learned the hard way. And um, in terms of beating, mm -hmm. the chop beating, um, on one Saturday, you know, my mom, I woke up, I was sick that morning. How old were you? I was like maybe nine. I was sick that morning and she said, listen, go buy um, paracetamol at the chemist. And she gave me 500 bucks. And I was supposed to buy paracetamol for like maybe 10, 10, 10 naira. I took the money to the game center. I played from 9 a.m. to like 6 p.m. till she came to find me there. <laughs> the beating was massive. What part of Lagos was this? This was Benin. This ah, was Lagos. Oh, it wasn't Lagos. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Nigeria doesn't revolve around Lagos. I'm wow. Yeah, yeah. What part of what part of Benin? Like Benin City? Benin City, Ekewan. Shout out to Ekewan. Mm. Yeah. Mad. So let's let's go back to the house, right? Mm. Um you got into the house, you've been beaten out of the house. Yeah. Do you feel like being married affected your chances of winning the game? No, I really don't feel like it affected my chances of winning the game because irrespective of me being married mm -hmm. or if I was single, I, I still had to be myself. Mm. And myself was what actually I portrayed in the house. Okay. You know, I could be very sensitive. I could be vocal if I want to. And, um, you know, I wouldn't really be involved in so many things, you know, at the same time. So it's the thing of either I went with my game plan or I was myself, you okay. know, and um, I chose my game myself and myself always, I think it's better. I want to ask like I'm surprised. Who just said see who's talking? Someone said see who's talking because I, I was an engineer as well. Oh, really? And I'm in media, civil engineering. So yeah, that's where the polymath thing comes in, you see? Um, yeah. So you're a polymath too? Of course, we are all polymaths because I mean, you know, the world doesn't leave you with so much choice to stick to one profession anymore. Uh, you want to try every other thing, what you, your interests are, what your hobbies are. You know, it's important because you can make money from anywhere. Mad. Mm -hmm. So just whatever it takes to make money. Whatever it takes, everything it takes to make money. Energy. <laughs> everything legal. Everything legal. Everything yeah. legal. Okay, so now you have to plan to act single and yeah. then... Biggie threw you in a loop, you didn't expect it. Yeah. Now, babe started showing, but you already opened up your heart. Yeah. Like you just. Yeah. Yeah. You lost focus. I lose focus. You lose yeah. focus. Yeah. Now, if any of the girls, like if girls started falling for you in the mm. house, even after you said you were married, do you think you would have led them on? Yeah, so the thing was, um, it wasn't for me to actually lead them on. It was for me to just show that, you know, you can actually be a single guy in the house, get these attractions and still be yourself. Like, do not lead anybody on. And no, but, it, but knowing that you were married. Yeah, oh yeah. Knowing if a that girl had moved to you in the house. Yeah. Nah, nothing for still happen. You nothing. won't even like, nah. you won't even like, you know, um, how do I put this? You won't even just give her attention not without doing anything you just wouldn't string her along you wouldn't no no i wouldn't i wouldn't deliberately mm. want to um lead someone's feeling on okay. when i know that there's no there's no chance there okay yeah not for not for the game though. you your you, your time in the house was short it's mm. pretty short i mean what would you say were your best moments in the house uh, my best moment was actually getting to meet these people. These people are really wonderful people. I think... Um, really? Yeah, yeah, they are. I think um, I, it was what I was always looking forward to, going into Big Brother. So what I mean, like, so getting to meet them is one thing, but I mean, like, your favorite moments in the moments you spent with them. Yeah. What was your favorite day or, or moment in the house? Honestly, my favorite moment in the house was Big Brother the games that we played, the taxes that we did. Really? Yeah. Not the Saturday night party? Uh, the Saturday night party, I only enjoyed one of the parties. The uh, first party was, didn't come to life because, I mean, um, I really, I'm more of someone who wants to have 
quick, quick, quick shots and get into the mood. Jeez. Yeah, so the, the bottle thing didn't really work that much for mm. me because I could only drink one. You know, mm. But shorts, you know, pa, pa, pa. you don't get the vibe. So what is it like partying with me on a normal like Saturday if you and I went out now? Well, if you were to party with me, and I know people, they've catch me up in clubs, I would dance fire. And okay. I could, I could dance by myself. I'm cool that way. I could dance and create vibes around myself. No hustles. I'm looking me. forward to seeing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I, I catch you at the club. Like, we need to plan something one of these oh, days. Oh, yeah, I do nightlife. I do nightlife. We need to vibe. Me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you had a chance to go back, man, mm -hmm. what would you do differently? I'm um, nothing. Nothing. I wouldn't do anything differently. But, guy, you'd have gotten evicted again now. So, what would you do differently? I wouldn't do anything differently because the part of me in the house was me being myself mm. and enjoying that whole part. So, um, yeah, there's nothing I would have done differently. I didn't want to join any of those cliques because I think it was too toxic. Mm -hmm. um, one of them was being led by someone who I really didn't like, which is the name of Pere. So we didn't get along and we also had um, our issues in the house. We had um, a one-time argument, no, not even an argument, it was an episode. And I really didn't see myself getting into cliques, cliques, cliques. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. So you, you felt Pere's clique was toxic? Yeah, he was. Who, he, who are the people in that? Pere, 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 Pere is someone who appears to be, um, he's playing the game, but he doesn't really care. And he kind of saw me as, um, you know, an opposition, a strong contender that he needed to take out. Mm. I really don't know why that came up, but yeah, I don't like his energy. Oh, you don't like his energy, okay. Mm. Anybody else you weren't feeling? No, nah, it's just only him. Mm. It's just only him I wasn't feeling. Okay. Yeah. So if he comes out, would you, you you're going to. No. Gonna, no. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay. Okay, so now that you are, who are you rooting for? Top five. Well, top five, it has to be White Money for me, Sasuke, um, my man, uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel is good. Then J. Poor. And um, I would like to see Tega. Tega? Yeah, Tega. Why, my Team Mary Gang? Uh, me and Tega, we connected in a very, very... I think South South way. Mm. You just get that vibe of South South girl. Yeah, I think um, she's someone who understood me real quick. Okay. And she, she's very down to earth. She's very, very down to earth. She's a very lovely person. She's cool. If you want to see the other side, she can bring it out real quick. Uh, so what's next for you? What are you looking forward to now that you're out the house? Well, it's always been business for me. Business. Um, my first goal was to go into the house and you know showcase the world what my business is all about, my brand. Fantasy gaming, fantasy soccer. We do peer-to-peer -peer gaming online and stuff. You should link up with Dr. Sid. He's big. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we are actually licensed, and um, that's what I'm looking into. Um, also, entertainment. I want to be in movies. I want to try and act some movies, and you know, play that part of me that people would not expect. It's there, and um, yeah, I did a little bit of raps, so I have. Um, I have a theme for that too. So you want to rap? No, I want to rap. I rapped already. I oh, you rap a, already? Yeah, I did. A, I, I did. A, I did a song, and I have that on YouTube. I have another song that's unreleased yet. Mm. And um, yeah, modeling too. I mean, I love fashion. Now you look. You definitely look like the model type. <laughs> but let's like. I'm very interested with this Nollywood thing because a, a lot of Big Brother guys really end up. Yeah. They just end up in Nollywood. They try and get into Nollywood, but. Have you have you done acting before? I haven't done any acting before. The Be closest thing I've it. done is TikTok, and um, I really enjoyed the little acting I did in the house. Mm -hmm. So it was fun for me. I think I just want to I just want to explore that part. I think I'm enjoying it. Who who do you look up to in Hollywood? In Hollywood, that would be Jim Ike. Jim Ike has this. I can play everything. If you really gave me a chance to be. Jim Carrey, I can be Jim Carrey, and if I want to be Tom Cruise, I can be Tom Cruise. That's how you feel about Jim Ike? Yeah, yeah, he's a great actor. Okay. <clears throat> um, so apart from that, like, when do you think you plan on going to see the wife and kids? Uh, how soon do you think you're gonna... Yeah, so um, I really want to be here mm -hmm. and, um, you know, secure the best opportunities I can right now. And my wife and kids, they will be joining me real soon. Okay, so, they'll yeah. be joining you. Yeah. All right. So they're coming from South Africa. Too. Yes, they're coming from South Africa. I was hoping, because I'm, I'm heading there soon. So oh, I was really? hoping, like, you show me around. 
Oh, really? Yeah, yeah we, we, we always link up. That one will be wild. Like. Okay, I like that. I'm holding you to that. No problem, man. Now, <clears throat> you love to act. Mm. Let's do a Nollywood audition. Oh, okay. All right? Yeah. I'm, this is off the top of my head. All right, let's All right, do it. So, you are, the year is 2022. Okay. And you're Jim Ike's body double. Okay. So you've kidnapped Jim Ike and you're letting him know, like he's waking up from sleep and he's wondering why is he tied up? And you're going to tell Jim Ike that you're going to take over his life and you're going to like live his life. Right? And then you just take it from there. All right. You, you guys want to see some action? All right, guys, we're about to do our acting audition now. Let's go. Hey, sit, 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 sit. All right. All right. Let's do, do this audition. One. Remember, you're Jim Ike. All right. You're taking over his identity. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to be Jim. All right. No problem. I'll be Jim Ike. Right. I'm going to wake up from my sleep because you, you know, you drugged me and I passed out. All right. And then you start telling me no problem. how you're going to take Let's over. Let's take it from Cool. There. Yeah. So, I need someone to shout action from the back. Action. No, you have to clap and do action, like like the movies. All right? Action. Where am I? Who are you? What am I doing here? Why am I tied up? Shut up. Shut up. Don't you tell me to shut up. Don't you know who I am? I'm Jim Ike. How dare you? I said, shut up, boy. Shut up. You think you can come here and start acting all funny? You're no longer G-Mike. Why do you look like me? You know, I got a thing for you. I want to tell you. You've been going all around feeling super fly. I am fly. You're not anymore. Boy, everything you own belongs to me now. No! You can't do this to me! <laughs> Listen! <laughs> Yo, let's get a round of applause for the hero. Let's get a round of applause for him. Oh, I'm good. You, you guys to tell me how you think he did. Um, does he have a shot at Nollywood? I'll leave that open to the comment section. Let us know. All right. All Follow right. us at Bella Niger. But, um, Thank you so much for your time. I hope to catch up with you later. You know, hope to see you on the big screen. Chasing your dreams, doing more TikToks, all of that. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite TikTok dance? Ah, uh, well, you know, mm, I really can't speak because we do not really do dance. Oh, you don't do dance? You just do the acting stuff? I just do the acting, okay. human okay. stuff. And, well, yeah, I, yeah, we do dance when we get to 100K, 200K. <laughs> We just jiggle a little bit. It's not as if we're, we're crazy about it. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, but it's been a long time I've been off TikTok, so I don't know what's out there and stuff. All right, man. Well, looking forward to everything that From the future the top, holds for you. That. Thank you. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Um, thank you very much once again. Right, You can follow us across all social media platforms on your screen right now. Instagram at Bella Niger online, www.bellaniger.com. You can follow me on his social media tell them where do can they follow you at what's your social media handles so all my social media platform is the lawa except tiktok the lawa on tiktok it's the lawa family guys mm. follow me and go hit me up man all right follow me on mine at chuey dot chu on instagram that's chewy dot chew on instagram chewy chew on twitter and till we come your way next time i go by the name of chewy chew Nini, Lawal. Any, man. Shop knock, my guy. <laughs>